Let's look at making a simple house in Blender 2.8. Here's our startup file that we made in the previous video. I'm going to click on the little eye icons in the outliner window here and just hide them. We can still look through the camera. Need to adjust that, obviously. And we can still make renderings, but it just clears up the 3D window. Let's click on the default cube. We'll go into edit mode. There are two ways to go into edit mode. One is by hitting the tab key, jumps into edit mode. Another is by using the drop down menu here. And a third is by going into the modeling screen layout, which automatically drops us into edit mode, along with a bunch of tools down the left hand side here. For a start, I'm going to go to edge select mode. We're in vertex select mode right now. You can tell by the little orange dots at each vertex. Up here, there are three icons and we can click to go to edge select mode, face select mode, or we can hold down the shift key and actually select more than one. But I'm just going to click on the second one, edge select. Also, incidentally, the key shortcuts one, two, three, two, one, two, change from vertex to edge to face select mode. Lots of ways to go from one to the other. And we're going to make an edge loop. Control R. So now when we hover near an edge, an edge loop will appear in the plane that's at right angles to the corresponding edge. Let's make it, um, yeah, let's make it this way in the YZ plane. So left click. Now, as we move the cursor, we can move it from one end to the other. And you'll notice up in the top left here, edge slide goes from one to minus one. So pretty obviously, if we type zero and enter, we're going to be in the middle of our cube as we want it. We can also go down here to loop, cut and slide, expand it and change the number of cuts. We can change the smoothness. Probably zero is good for us right now. And we can change the factor, which is again, one to minus one and back to zero again. All of this can be done after we've actually made our loop cut, but before we go into another operation. I'm going to click, and now this is set. Click on the top, G to move, Z along the Z axis. So now we have our pitched roof. And again, we can change it after we've clicked just by using the dialog box in the lower left corner. Right, so let's make some eaves. I'm going to once again hold down control, touch R, left click. We've now got an edge loop across the vertical edges, but you'll notice that now it changes depending on which edge it's nearer to. So it's flat down here, it's pitched up here. This means we're never going to get an eaves line at the ends that's precisely parallel to the roof pitch, unless we actually make it here and click and then do GZ and pull it down. That's one way to do it. Let's look at another way though. So again, control R, click, and just drag it to an arbitrary point here. Number of cuts, smoothness factor, that's fine. However, Let's now check even, and you'll see as we move it up and down by changing the factor, it's parallel to the lower edge. Well, that doesn't really help us, but if we check flipped as well, now it's parallel to the top edge, and we can just click it here. That's fine. Click away. Now we've got a loop cut that parallels the 
ridge angle of the roof. Let's go to face select mode by using the three key and select these two. E for extrude. Extrusion's always along the normal. I'm just going to type in point to enter. You don't need to type a zero in Blender. As soon as you type a dot, a point, then it will automatically assume it's a zero. Again, click here. As soon as I click an, a face on the end, you notice it deselects the previous faces. Again, E, point, two, enter. You'll notice that it's positive point two for both Eve extrusions at the ends because extrusion is always along the normal of the selected faces. Now we've got a bit more of a problem here, the sides. Click, shift, click, shift, click, E. Well, what could we do here? We could extrude it point two and then move it down, but that means that our side eaves wouldn't precisely match the pitch of the roof, which is arbitrary. So that's not gonna work for us. Let's look at two different ways of extruding at an angle. I'm gonna hit Control Z, Control Z, to go back to the beginning again. And this time I'm going to select a face on the roof. With this face, I'm now going to make a custom set of axes. So we go to the transform orientation drop down here. Nothing here is going to work. Let's actually get, there we go. Let's get a, a widget by clicking on the move icon. None of these are gonna work. So local isn't gonna work. Normal might work. Gimbal, no, view, no, cursor, no. Uh, all right, well, let's try normal. That looks pretty good. Let's do that. Click, shift, click, shift, click. And then we hit E, point to enter orientation we don't want it along the normal here we want it along the o normal changes according to which faces are selected so this didn't work for us although it was fine when this face was selected as soon as we selected these different faces suddenly that normal orientation changed so that's not going to work for us let's go back away again select a pitched face on the roof. Go to the transform orientations, this time click on plus. And we make a custom orientation with the name roof one. Now, when we select these side faces and we hit E, point to enter, we can choose roof one. Z is not going to work for us. Let's make it zero. Moving in the X direction, judging by the red arrow here, point to enter. And now we've extruded this Eve precisely and perfectly along the line of the roof. Okay, click. Let's try something else. Let's select a face on the opposite side of the roof. You can see here that the Z direction is now kind of pointing inside the house because we're still on the previous orientation based on this face here. So let's make a new one. Roof one plus, this is going to be roof two, enter. Looks good. There's our blue Z axis pointing along the normal. Click, shift click, shift click. I could just hit E, enter. So what I've done is I've extruded these three faces zero meters. Okay, select them again. Remember these are now duplicate faces and just move them. So now we select these three faces 
And we want to move them along the x-axis. How far do we want to move them? Point two, enter. Oh no, that didn't work because the direction is different in this case to the positive direction over here. So we just add a minus sign, a hyphen in front, and now we've extruded by moving rather than extruding along a different orientation. Enter and click. So two ways to extrude faces along the side of a roof. One by changing the orientation based on a previously selected face in the roof and then extruding along that direction. And the other way by selecting a face in the roof and extruding zero direction, then moving along the x-axis. Two ways of doing it. And now we've got a pitched roof with eaves all around our little house. Again, I'm gonna go back to layout and we can save this and then move on to the next stage, extruding the chimney and making doors and windows in the next video.